I am having an error code 84 high pressure lockout on my carrier system. How old is the appliance? Have you gotten error messages before? I don't think it is more than 5 years old, we just bought the house 6 months ago. Looking through the last 10 events this is the first time it has happened. Do you plan on doing the work yourself? If it is an easy fix, yes. Otherwise we have a home warranty. I have already put in a service request, but it is hot today and not looking forward to having to wait for them. Anything else we should know to help you best? I got the system malfunction last night. This morning when the lockout was over I checked it again and the AC only ran for a minute or so before locking back out. Hi, how are you? This is on a carrier infinity system? Thanks. I am good in you? Yes it is on the carrier infinity. When it starts is the outdoor fan operating? I didn't check, and I am still locked out for a couple more hours. Once I started looking what the error code was and saw it was the outdoor unit, I did go out there. It was very hot, despite it still being morning. There's basically a few items that could cause a high pressure fault. Either the outdoor fan is not operating due to a defective motor, control circuit issue or a capacitor, or the condenser coil is dirty not allowing ample airflow through the coil to keep the head pressure down to a reasonable pressure, or there is a refrigerant flow restriction causing the head pressure to climb, such as a clogged expansion valve or a clogged filter dryer. Are any of those things a lay person can do themselves? Or do I need someone to come out for them? I would say an individual could handle all of those things except refrigerant flow issues, if they are mechanically inclined and comfortable with working with electricity. The cleaning of a dirty condenser coil is probably the easiest for a non-HVAC professional to do. While chemical cleaners do a better job, oftentimes a homeowner can wash their coil just with a garden hose and make a significant impact in how it operates. As far as handling a fan motor issue if that is the case, that is dependent on how mechanically inclined you are, how comfortable you are with electricity, and if you have access to a voltmeter and other hand tools. Probably only up for the cleaning a dirty coil. Can you walk me through that? Sure, make sure the high voltage is disconnected from the equipment. Usually there is a disconnect nearby your equipment. Then take a garden hose with a sprayer attached and spray water through the louvers from the outside in. Be sure to turn the hose where the water is going through the louvers and not just being deflected. If you are comfortable enough, you can remove the top of the unit and pull the condenser fan and cover up enough where you can spray inside and you will get much better coverage and spray the coil off much better from the inside. If you are not comfortable with wiring, I would try to avoid lifting the fan so high as to strain the wiring connections, also be cautious about the fan blade. They will bend relatively easily and then would be out of balance and require replacement. Okay, thank you for your help. Have a great 4th of July. Once complete, put the fan top back down and secure it. Reconnect high voltage and you should be good to go. You too thank you very much. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.